Hey everybody, I'm Stacy, and welcome back to my channel, Time to Teach. I'm so glad you're here. So currently I am on winter break and I decided to do a video that I have not done on my channel yet. And that is what's in my teacher bag. So like I mentioned, I'm on break. So I've had some time to work on my house, which is awesome because as you know, as being a teacher and a mother and a wife, it is hard to get all of that done during the day and during the week. So I've had a lot of time to organize and I decided I wanted to change over to a backpack instead of using a shoulder bag. The shoulder bag I was using, actually I have it right here. I will go ahead and show you guys. This was, let me move this out of the way. This was the bag that I was using, and I actually found this at Toys R Us of all places because they were going out of business here in Washington. So I purchased this for a pretty good deal. I think it was like $30 because it's actually a Fisher Price diaper bag, and it has all the compartments you could ever want as a teacher. So I've been using this for, well, since the beginning of the school year, since September. So not too long, but um, it gets so heavy because I do bring a lot of stuff home with me. And um, when I'm getting in and out of the car and I'm like grabbing all the other stuff, you know, as teachers, we've got our lunch bag, we've got our coffee, we've got stuff we're bringing for our lesson plans that day. We're like the ultimate bag lady, right? So I'm like reaching in my car and it's like, you know, falling over and um, I just wanted to try something different. I have used a backpack in the past and I thought, you know what, I did enjoy that. And as teachers, we're always going back and forth with things. So anyway, without further ado, let's see what's in that teacher's bag. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna put that to the side. So this, whoo, it's heavy. This backpack actually was my daughter's. I bought it at Costco um, when she started sixth grade and she is in eighth grade now, or maybe her seventh grade year. So it's a year or two years old, but she takes such good care of her stuff. It's in perfect condition. It doesn't have one stain on it. All the zippers work. It's great, and it's very big. If you shop at Costco, you know they have these really big backpacks. So, let me scoot back just a little bit. I'm gonna start in the very front pocket. It has a little zipper on the very front, but I don't have anything in there. It does have a little pocket, and in there I just have some hand sanitizer. I have an extra pair of headphones that are just from Dollar Tree because you never know when you're gonna need headphones and they're just um, a cheap extra pair. And then I have a little pocket in there that's like a little change purse so I can keep change in there because I gotta get my Diet Cokes and my Coke Zeros. So I wanna make sure I always have change in there in case I'm at professional development, I have everything I need. So that's the front pocket. And then I'm gonna move into I don't want to move around too much and make it blurry, but um, I'm going to move into this front pocket, and I just showed you this one right here. So now we're going to go in here, and here I have my pencil pouch. So um, my son Bradley was using this pencil pouch, and he didn't like it anymore, so I took it because... My goal is to reuse things instead of buying new things, so I'm really trying to work on that. I could care less. It doesn't match or anything. It's cute, and I like it, right? So um, I have every pen and pencil, as you know, that you could imagine in here. I have Sharpies. I have Mr. Sketch. I have highlighters. I have a pencil sharpener. And then in the front, I have Post-its, paper clips, um and some more change. So yeah, I'm good there. Gotta have that change. And my husband is so sweet, he always gives me his change. So I like to keep my pens right up front so they're easy to grab. And then behind that, there is another little pocket here. And I was gonna put like a makeup bag in there and I thought, why buy another bag? I'll just use the pocket. So I'm keeping like just personal stuff girl stuff in there. 
Um, I have little hair clippy. I want to pull my hair back. I know I have short hair, but I have a lot of it. And sometimes I got to get it out of my face. I have some floss because you never know. Deodorant. That's always good to have. And just, you know, personal girl stuff. And then I also have some bobby pins in there because I actually like to use bobby pins a lot. So, you know, at the end of the day and you just want to get your hair out of your face. I don't know. Is it just me? But I always like to pin my hair back or put one of my headbands on. So I just have some personal stuff in there. And then in this little pocket, I actually don't have anything. And this is right on top. So now I'm going to open the main part here. This is right on top. And then we will go to the other pocket. Oh, I think it got stuck here. Let me, there we go. So this is like the back pocket. So there's like two big parts, but this part's a little bit smaller because it has this really like cushioned area for your laptop. So I have my work laptop in here and then I just have my cord, which I've left at home before, which isn't good. So I want to make sure I always have that right here. I probably bring my lap home, my laptop home about three to five days a week. And I always have it on the weekend because I have to lesson plan and all of that stuff. Still working on that balance. I always end up lesson planning on the weekend. So that is the only thing that I have in there. So that is the very back, but in front of that is another area that unzips like this in the front. And I'm going to pick it up and show you. So it's like a big opening right here. So these are two things that I bring home with me every day. I feel like if I don't bring them home, I'm going to need them for some reason. So I bring home my binder. So this is my binder and it pretty much has everything in it that you could imagine. I try to keep it simple. I used to have my lesson plans in here, but I'll show you what I'm using this year. If you'd like me to make a video on this, just let me know. So it's just a basic binder that I make. It's nothing fancy. It just lists everything that I have in it. This is my data that I have to look over before I go back to work. But it just has, you know, transportation list, class roster, um, current data, like everything I would need if I was at a meeting. And, you know, as teachers, we have a lot of meetings, so I always like to have current information right here. So I have everything in there. So I bring this home with me every day. And then I have my lesson plan binder. This, or lesson plan book. This is an Erin Condren lesson plan book. It doesn't have a cover. It was given to me from a friend that I met over the summer that's in my district. And we met at a conference that we went to um, in Boise, Idaho. If you've seen any of my other videos, I talked about it. It was so great. It's called Ed U Fest. But anyway, she said, Stacey, I have this old Erin Condren binder or plan book. Would you like it? It doesn't have a cover. I'm like, I don't care if it doesn't have a cover, but yes, it's beautiful. So I've been using that. I have to say though, really all I use is just the lesson plan pages. I don't decorate or anything like that. I just don't have time. Um, and then of course I do use the calendar. So I already started planning out for January and the only other thing I use is the checklist in the back. So I only, I'm a third grade teacher and I only teach math and science because we're departmentalized. So I like to keep their uh, math test scores in the back, the tests that I give them in the classroom. So would I personally buy one of these? Probably not just because I'm very simple and Usually I just, I'll either make my own lesson plan format like this on PowerPoint or Microsoft Word and I just print it out and I put it in my binder so I have everything with me. So, and calendar pages. I'm pretty simple. It's very nice and I'm very grateful, but would I buy one? No, but that's just me. So, okay. The other two things that I have in here because I'm reporting back to work next Thursday. Today is Saturday the 29th. Um, 
so I put these things in here because I need to bring them to my classroom. This is a curtain I bought for my door window. I thought it would be really helpful, especially for lockdowns. So you just attach it to the top of the window. So I'm going to put some command strips. And then when you want to cover the window, you just pull the strings and it falls down. So I saw these on Instagram and some other um, teacher tubers that are using them. I'm like, I must buy one. I think it was about $18. And I found it on Etsy and it has cactus on it. And I'm originally from Arizona, so I had to get the cactus. So I have this in here so I can take it to my classroom when I go back. Oh, and I will be filming a classroom tour. So keep an eye out for that video. It will be my first classroom tour ever. Um, I'm probably gonna head into work Tuesday since we go back Thursday. I bought some new sit spots, so I have to put those down, and I just need to clean and organize and all that stuff, you know. And then I also have this in here. It was a gift from one of my kiddos for Christmas, and, you know, I brought all those bags home on Friday. I was, like, out the door. So um, I just had to take it back, and it's a little purse. It's kind of heavy. Isn't that cute? It's for your desk, and you put Post-its in it. So I just have to put that back on my desk when I get there. So in that main pocket, I just have my binder and my lesson plan book. And um, let's see, there's another pocket in there. There's so many pockets, but I don't have anything in there. Um, it's pretty clean right now. Is it normally that clean? No, not at all. Because I, like I said, I cleaned out that bag and put everything in here. Usually there are scraps of papers and their pins are everywhere. It, it's never this clean and organized, but it's always nice to start out when you go back to have a nice, clean, organized bag. Um, and then it also has a pocket here that zips up on the side. And then it has another pocket here for a drink or whatever you want to put in there. So I'm excited to start off the year with my new backpack and I love the color because I love teal. And, of course, I had to wear my teacher all day, every day shirt. It matches well. And that's about it for this video. So um, if you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And keep an eye out for my classroom tour coming up soon. And that's it for this video. Thank you for your support, everybody. And I will talk to you in the next one. Okay, bye.